So like the other apps that I've built using this whole approach, the idea is that you run these things as Python web servers on your machine. And that exposes them you know, through your web browser on a port using your IP address. And this just works so well because not only does it actually create the interface for you on the machine you're running it on, you can access the exact same experience from any machine on your local network. And you can actually quite easily take this to a stage where you can access it from outside of your network using something like Tailscale. Or like me, if you've got a VPS somewhere, you can actually set up a reverse SSH tunnel uh, to that VPS and then set up Apache using a reverse proxy on, on there to set up the whole port thing in a secure tunnel. And it's just you know, brilliant to actually use these established mechanisms to create essentially your own cloud software applications. And it's amazing how well this works. It's just such a simple established convention. And when you compare it to how clunky and poorly implemented this network sharing feature in Apple Music is, that I just could never get to work. I tried this, you know, set, set up my local library on one machine and used the home sharing to share it uh, on the network. Just didn't work, you know. It, I just couldn't get it to reliably work. It would always have, it would always disconnect and, and then it would never reconnect or take ages to reconnect. So this is just running and I just hit the IP address with the port on the end in any browser on my network and I can access it and use it. And it's that simple. It's just a, such, a, such a refreshing take on this. <laughs>